Hey guys, uh, Rob with Rob Fit and Miles Horse Kinetic Bands. Today we actually have a special guest with us, um, Samantha Bowling. Uh, she is now a collegiate dancer for uh, Southeast Missouri State. Um, we're featuring her today to uh, show you a bunch of different core exercise, hip exercise, quad exercise, to show how you can actually benefit more from these to increase everything you do with the sport. So I'm gonna let Sam kind of explain um, the different styles that we're gonna use that you aren't necessarily affiliated with if you uh, are a dancer. And um, then we're gonna go through the motions. Well, being a dancer, you usually just work like one area of your leg. And with the activity we're about to do, you work in different areas, so you strengthen your whole leg instead of just the one side that you're used to working on being a dancer. So what we're going to do is just a few reps. We're going to do one example set of about eight reps per side. So we want to focus on coming forward first with our reaching lunge. Then we're just going to go ahead and turn ourselves facing the uh, right direction. And we're going to do a uh, side lunge. So this is going to focus on our hips and our inner thigh, while the reaching lunge is going to focus more on our back and our hand. So let's go through the motions. We recommend to do about four sets of 15 for all of them in a sequence. Uh, about a minute rest in between would be uh, efficient for that. Uh, we're going to go through these and uh, let you guys see what's going on. Now what she's going to do is keep all of her weight on her back heel right here. You want to make sure that you do, and this is essential, keep your foot straight. The reason for this is it's going to be a natural feeling to want to angle it. Uh, we'll actually show that real quick. When it's angled in that direction, which is what you're going to be used to, this is reason being compensating for the fact that you're missing a leg in the suspension strap. So we're going to go through the rest of these. We want to get a reach in there. And then we're also going to be using, you see the tension on the bands. Uh, this is going to be activating our glutes and our hips. So we're going to finish up the rest of these. Breathing is always important. Breathe in as you come down. We're going to breathe out as we come up. We'll finish the last of these reps. What we're going to do is face the wall right after this. Now we do want to focus on a lot of the same principles here. Straight foot, so we're not compensating for the fact that we don't have our leg on the ground. We're also going to have our hips completely parallel. We don't want to overcompensate. and. Uh, have them diagonal like our foot would be. Over here on the strap, you notice her toe is right in front. Uh, we want to use that for a little bit more stability. She comes down, she pushes her leg out, and she pushes her hips forward. This is going to help activate her inner thigh and her hip on the opposite side. So we're going to finish up these reps. Her breathing is the same. She inhales going down, and she exhales coming up. Awesome. How's that feel? Good. Where are you feeling the most? Um, right there. Perfect. And do you work that a lot in dance? Is that something you isolate? No. There you go. We're trying to build a well-rounded athlete, and doing this is not only going to do that, but it's also going to increase your performance whenever you are dancing or any athletic activity you're going to perform. Finish this set up here. Awesome. And that's going to be our segment with Samantha Bowling working the hips, our uh, thighs, and our glutes. Um, I want you guys, like we said, four sets of 15 would be a great number to perform this at. Uh, if you have any questions or comments for us, um, myosource.com, uh, accountablyfit.com, um, or also shoot us an email, milesourceathlete at yahoo.com. Uh, if you have any muscle groups you want us to focus on and make a video with, let us know, and then we'll go ahead and put those up. That way we can help you guys out. Uh, but until next week, Rob Fit and Miles Source, and uh, we'll see you later.